There's one out there too. It's probably gonna be the male, huh? Okay, we're gonna take the shot. A lot of people yesterday said that they really liked the 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun, but they also wanted to see a turkey hunt. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do a turkey hunt, and then we're possibly gonna go after some coyotes with the buckshot. Looks like we just got eyes on our first gobbler, and it happens to be an absolute giant of a gobbler. Oh my god, that's actually a max corn potential gobbler. 60 to 75 on the estimate on that thing. It's gonna be a pretty nice one, that's for sure. And he's coming in half shot already here. It's kind of dark out right now because it's early in the morning, but I really hope you guys can see. A little bit of light right there. And turkey is down. Ooh, we even got a double. <laughs> we took a hen for a bonus at uh, probably like 40 yards out on the run. So not bad. I really want to get down there though and see just how big this gobbler really is because he looked pretty big. Ended up getting a neck and headshot at 24 meters away and he's going to score 61.5. So he's a huge gobbler but just he's on the low end of the score estimate. <laughs> so we got a little bit ripped off there but he's still a beautiful gobbler. I'm not going to complain about him whatsoever at all. Actually I don't mind that right there. That's not bad at all. I think we'll go with that. I mean you can't see very good because there's no light but for now. That's not bad. And we'll get 114 GMs for that as well. Let's go over here and grab this hen and then go to a new spot. Headshot on her at 35 meters away right there. Well, it appears we have another gobbler coming in behind us here. So we'll get ready on him as soon as we see him. Looks like a kind of a medium sized gobbler. So not tiny, but definitely not as big as the one that we just got. And actually in this case, I kind of want to take a little bit further of a shot, maybe like 30 or 40 just to see like what the pattern's like. Obviously the hen, it took her down at 40, no problem. So it shouldn't really have an issue, but. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. No issue whatsoever. And that was about like 30, 35 yards away. Looks like it's going to be a 30 yard shot and we hit him right in the neck. He's going to score 38.7. So kind of on the smaller side, but we'll still take a look at him. And uh, looks like we hit him in the neck and chest area, according to the pattern there. Yeah, that thing, let's just say he got smoked. So we decided to move over to another spot here and we have another gobbler here. It's a decent sized one as well. 40 to 55 on the score of cement on him. He's right on our decoys right there, but we have yet another gobbler calling and he's over right there. So I'm thinking maybe we should wait a little bit and let both of them come into the decoys. Cause if we took a shot now, they would probably both spook. Well, obviously we'd get one, but the other one would probably spook. Well, I didn't exactly plan on this to happen, but this gobbler is way too close and he's about to walk right underneath us. So we're gonna have to take down this one first. Yeah, we gotta take that one first and then maybe get on this one on the run. Oh, it had potential, but we just couldn't quite pull it off. Got a little bit too far out there, but we definitely got this one. Head, neck, and body at six yards away. He's gonna score 44. So we just got a call from a blacktail buck here and we've never taken one down with the slugs. So we're gonna put out a call and then get up in this tree stand cause it's gonna be kind of cool to take down a blacktail with the 12 gauge and slugs. Scratch that, there's a couple of bucks coming in here. So potentially we might be able to get a couple of these bucks. Definitely want to get the one in the front which is probably gonna be like a 140s buck. Yeah, uh, yeah, like a 140, 150s buck in the front. Then there's another one right there but there could be even more that we just can't quite see yet. 110 to 155. So apparently the one in front of us is bigger than this one, but it's still a really decent buck. It's gonna be the biggest one there. But if he runs that way, we should be able to get him. So this one, we can for sure take him right here. And there he goes. Well. I think the second shot should have hit him. So let's grab him. I mean, he should be like a 130s buck. Did we make a hard shot? Yes, we did. Hard shot at 22 yards out and a 146 on him. It's a real decent black tail, it really is. And if I could have got on this buck a little bit sooner, we could have had both of them down. 
but because I'm still pretty low level with this 12 gauge, it's kind of difficult to aim with it without being super wobbly. Well, unfortunately we didn't get that black tail. It was a clean miss, but it led us right to this. That's a white tail buck out there at about like 40 or 50. And I kind of want to try out buckshot on this actually. Cause right now I have slugs equipped. I was hoping he'd be a little bit bigger. That's why I threw in some slugs. But since he's not, why not try out some buckshot on this buck? Small buck, definitely not anything special. Did he just turn around? He did, but I still see him. And that is not bad. We dropped him. Ended up getting a 47 yard, right long neck bone, neck bone, and right hind leg. He scored 61, but yeah, 50 yards, that's not bad. So now I'm trying to find some coyotes and we can maybe try and take some like, you know, 40, 50 yard shots on them. That's a pretty good buck. That's actually a really good buck, a 155 to 180. We still have the buck shot. So we're going to try that out again on something a little bigger than the last buck that we just saw. It's actually stopped, but I can't really see him that well. But maybe if we crouched up. Yeah, that will definitely work. And he's down. So that's gonna be our first big buck with the 12 gauge buckshot. Wow, and the semi-automatic. Very cool. Looks like he has a couple of stickers on him which would prevent him from scoring even higher than what he's gonna score. But I mean, should be like a 156, 158 buck or something like that. 161 and double lung shoulder blade, liver and spine at about 25 yards out is not bad. And a 161 plus white teal is a pretty solid buck too. So we'll take a really cool picture with him. And our first really good buck with uh, the buckshot. <laughs> Although I don't really like the tracks on him like that. So if we slide him over to this point here, put our hunter right here. And if we can get our buck in position right here. It's pretty close. Actually, that looks incredible. That looks so good. There's a little bit of shade right here, but you know what? That looks so good. It's definitely worth it. We're gonna keep it. So I'd really like to find a coyote at this point, but I keep finding white tails. Not like I'm gonna complain about the last buck that we just got, but I just found another white tail buck here and... Actually, where'd he go? He was right there but I haven't seen him. He's gotta be right there. Ah, oh, there he is. Yeah, 120 to 145 on him. And I think we're gonna take the shot. Right out there at about 50 out, we're prone. And just laid him right out. That is not bad at all. Even with this gust of wind, it still had no trouble getting there whatsoever. So we'll grab him and see how we did. Looks like a left lung, left front leg, and intestine at 51 yards away. He scored 125, so 50 yards, Buckshot took him down, no problem. It isn't even like he flinched, he just completely piled up. So that means he could probably take out to like a 70, 70, 75 yard shot with it, I would say. I wouldn't go past 80, not even close, because we took a shot at the Coyote yesterday and uh, that didn't work out so well. Speaking of coyotes, I'm still trying to find one here. Well guys, we finally found one. Actually, there was two of them. I've been hunting so hard to try and find a coyote. It's not even funny. I just can't even get one to, to howl or anything. I can't locate one. For some reason, they're just really, really hard to find. But it seems like we found a pack, which in this case, we might actually be able to get a couple more down here in a second. That was a female, right lung, liver, hip bone, head, skull, and right hind leg at about 11 yards away on her. Wow, we were sneaking up on these coyotes here and I just found one right there. I don't know if that's a male or a female, but there's one out there too. It's probably going to be the male, huh? Uh, that's going to be the male. Wait, why am I spotting two different coyotes out there? Oh, because this one, oh, that's a big male. 
big male right on top of us. Okay, we're gonna take the shot. We got him! <sighs> that was awesome. Big male, he was maybe like 40 or 50 yards from us. Actually, probably closer than that, maybe like 30. And we took him down, open sights with the buckshot. So yeah, let's pick him up. Ended up getting a left hind leg, intestine, neck, shoulder blade, lung, and a heart shot. And he scored 50. So we ended up getting a double lung heart shot, basically, with the buckshot at about 30 yards away. That's a pretty solid coyote. Come on. Oh, pretty close. It's actually not bad like that, but I want to get him up just like... There, that's uh, the only thing about this is I don't like how the tail is between the leg like that. I always want to have the tail out so it looks more, yeah, like that. There we go. And that's how I like it. I like it just like that, right there, right like that. Awesome. That's so cool. Might actually use that for the thumbnail, to be honest. So we decided to put out another call and see if we couldn't get some more coyotes to come back in. And that's actually one of the big males that we saw before. He's out there stopped at probably like 35. And he's down. Yeah, the wobble was still a little bit real. I was trying to hold for the heart, but uh, I also didn't want him to take off. So we ended up going for, I think we still got lungs. Yeah, I would say we still got lungs out of that. So let's pick him up and see how we did. Ended up getting double lung at 26 yards away. So actually, that worked out perfect. 42 scoring coyote. I think I hear one. There it is. We got him. That was a giant. <laughs> that was a giant coyote. A 54 on the minimum estimate of that thing. We ended up getting a score of, oh my God, 58.8. And we got a stomach, liver, right lung, spine, left lung, intestine. What didn't we hit? That is an absolute giant. I think that actually might be leaderboards. It's for sure gonna be like my second biggest coyote ever. And we took him down 20 yards away with the buckshot. So that was pretty incredible right there. It really was. I was tracking down a decent sized coyote, but nothing like, nothing like this one. That's for sure. And uh, honestly, we need a better picture than that. Uh, I don't mind that if I could get our guy more turned like that. Yeah, I actually like that quite a bit. Cool. That's that's a giant coyote. That really is. And we are definitely getting mounted. So I thought we'd head back to our trophy lodge and take a look at our absolute massive coyote that we just got. He scored 58.2. But this is not the same coyote. This here is actually... How do I even... Oh, there we go. This is a 58 point... Wait, did I say 58.2? I meant 58.82. And we got him May 13th of 2019. And I remember taking him out of a tree stand with the Camel Pulsar, I believe. But the one that we just got today scored 58.82, which is 0.1 bigger, actually. So this is the one that we got today. He scored 58.828. The one that we got last time scored 817. So this one scored 11 points more. Well, 0 0.11 points more than uh, our previous one. So we're definitely gonna put him out here and take a look. And there you have it. Today was August 28th of 2020, and we're on Whiteheart Island with the 12 gauge semi-automatic and buckshot. And we took down a 58.828 scoring coyote, which it actually might be on leaderboards. So I just checked the leaderboards and it looks like we're gonna end up being Number 72 on the leaderboards with that coyote. And coyotes are not easy to get on leaderboards, so it's pretty cool and a very special moment to have happen to us.
but yeah i think that's gonna be it and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really tried to find some more coyotes with the buckshot we ended up finding way more whitetail than coyotes but in the end it turned out to be a pretty successful hunt and we got an absolute monster coyote but that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time